Right guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you guys 10 knives that you should consider picking up in CSGO, going into CS2 in 2023. Now, this isn't the 10 best knives you should go buy right now, but I think this is 10 really nice examples that you should take into consideration based on the inventory, your ability, and if you want for a theme, the budget you have, that kind of thing. So I just wanted to showcase 10 that I really like. So if you do enjoy this video, maybe you want to see more of it with some other suggestions, please let me know by hitting that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're here, and when you finish watching the video, drop the comment below which knife was your favourite from the 10 I've showcased, and let's go right into it. I'm not going to be discussing a specific wear or a specific float for these, so I will screenshot with CSGO skins pricing for all conditions on the side here, so you can see. The first knife is going to be the Paracord Slaughter Knife, which is actually the first knife I bought in CSGO. I sold it a couple months ago, so this is by no means me telling you to go buy it to put the price up, but honestly, I think Paracord knives in general are super underrated. They look really nice, they've got a nice, like, unique uh, pull out whenever they throw it side to side, and they have a unique inspect ammunition where they flick it side to side, and the slaughter looks insanely, insanely good on it. So. 100% I think this is worth picking up. Second knife is going to be the Vanilla Bowie. Now, I know already some people are going to say, oh, it's the Bowie knife. We don't like it because it only shows one hand rather than two. And yes, if you paid for gloves, which in this case we're using black tie as a neutral glove to showcase all of these, I know you might want to show the second glove. And that's fair enough. Go for another Vanilla. But Bowie knives are super underrated. And with that, they're cheaper to pick up. And the Vanilla looks super good now in CSGO and even better in Counter-Strike 2. So Bowie knives in general and Vanillas in general are a good suggestion as well. Then we're going to have the Nomad knife, but in Bereal Force. And the reason I picked this one is because it actually pairs... As I, what I like is that the actual like handle of the knife is also themed to the pattern of the knife. Sometimes the handles are just plain black, not themed at all. That is the case for some nomads, but this nomad, they've done the theme fully for it. So if you've got like a desert or if you've got like a camouflage inventory, a green inventory, something like that, this fits so nicely into it. Now, for those of you that like Dopplers that are low budget, I am going to be suggesting the Gut and Knife Doppler Phase 2. This one comes in at a super nice price if you're specifically after a Doppler. I know it's on the Gut and Knife, which a lot of people don't like because there's a lack of animations and it's got the wooden bit of the handle. But for the price you pay for a Doppler that looks even better in Counter Strike 2, I think this is definitely worth at least as like a starting option. Um, because when you look around knives at this at this level, you're not really going to get a Doppler or anything else outside of a Navaja. So this is 100% worth looking at. Now, I'm a big enjoyer of the Talon knives. And if you want to get into a Talon knife that doesn't look incredibly scuffed with wear and doesn't break the bank, I'm going to have to suggest a rust coat here. It's by no means the cheapest knife in CSGO, but it's one of the cheapest uh, Talon knives you can buy. And because it's the rust coat, it doesn't actually put wear on the knife itself, so you don't get lots of scuffs on it, like you would be looking at with like the Urban Mask, with the um, Forest DD pads and stuff like that. Now, I mentioned vanilla knives in general are a super good option, and we have it here again for Shadow Daggers. Now, yes, I know Shadow Daggers currently do the weird animation, which you can see on screen right now. It moves your card to side to side, the crosshair moves a bit. That's awful. Valve should have fixed that years ago after they released the knives. In Counter Strike 2, this is fully fixed, so you won't have that issue. Plus, the vanilla knives in Counter Strike 2 look so much better than they do in Counter Strike um, or CSGO. And these all black shadow daggers just look insane anyway. So, like, if you want one to pick up, knowing that it's going to be better in Counter Strike 2, this is definitely a good choice. Now, another like underrated knife is going to be the classic knife, and I've picked the Night Stripe for this one, uh, particularly because it doesn't clash too much with other color themes. If you do want a mix of, um, you don't necessarily say, for example, you don't want a themed inventory, you want a nice mix. This one isn't going to clash too much, but then if you want to go for like a blue inventory vibe, it 100% will fit in. It's one of the few knives that actually has like an idle animation. It's currently not doing it, unfortunately, but essentially the idle animation will be occasionally here you go. They will hold the knife and they'll give it a little bit of a rub. You can't get here hard match that makes it look like there's a wear mark on it uh, based on the pattern which is really cool but outside of a couple of the knives this is like one of the few that actually has an extra animation while idle which is really cool and then speaking of case arms i'm going to suggest it for the survival knife which you would have just seen has a really cool like pull out animation which or draw animation i think is the proper term for it where they flick it up and catch it and it's just super cool and obviously case hardens are hard to define because they come in so many different patterns some people prefer it looking all gold or yellow some people prefer it looking more blue some people like to have like a mix on the different sides or a certain wear and certain spots 
in general, I think Kia's Hardened Knives are very nice. This is the actual inspect uh, animation, the rare inspect for the survival knife as well, just to showcase that. I think picking a pattern up in Kia's Hardened that you like for the survival knife with its animations is definitely worth it. One that I recently showcased in a purple inventory was this Skeleton Knife Blue Steel. This one specifically, actually this is the only one where I'm mentioning where. This one, I would suggest it has to be battle scarred to get it to look more purple you could go factory new if that's the finish and the color you want but i think this looks best in a high battle scarred flow uh, and overall the skeleton knife is really cool it does have interesting draw animations which if i can try and force it there you go flicking around your thumb and then putting it back in and then it also has like the unique inspect animations too this is one of the best knives in the game and then finally going to end off with one of the more budget friendly options i think is definitely overlooked it's going to be the huntsman knife bright war bright war skins in general seem to be overlooked they're not as desired and compared to other knives i can kind of understand that but if you're building a blue inventory it opens up so many possibilities for you because there's so many cheap options you pair this with a set of polygon field tested gloves i'll even put them on now these gloves are 222 dollars on steam so you'll get them for well under 200 on third party sites this in field tested and obviously you can get a better field tested foot paired with the bright water is such a good budget combo it's insane but guys that's going to round off the video for me. As I said at the start, let me know which of the 10 knives I've just showcased is your favourite from all the collections. And if you think I've missed anything specific, like I say, there's hundreds of knives I could be picking from here. I tried to go not against the grain on options, but not just go for the generic 10 that everyone's going to tell you to go pick up. Because they're all going to be super expensive and they're going to be super flashy. And this is a bit more of a realistic, you're going to buy a knife for the first time or you've got a couple hundred to spend on the knife. What can you look at? So let me know which one was your favorite. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you're right here. Thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.